All right, so we've done the back strap cuts. I've showed you the main parts of the hind quarter. Uh, now it's time for the front shoulder. Usually, most people just grind the front shoulder. There's a lot of there ain't, I mean, there ain't a lot of meat, but it's stringy. There's a lot of gristle in it. Uh, some people do shoulder roast. Me personally, most sometimes I'll just take the whole shoulder and just throw it on a grill. You know, a bunch of guys out in the woods, take that sucker, season it up, throw it on the grill, peel it off and eat it. I mean, it's really good that way. But here, I'm gonna show you how to just take this sucker right off the bone. From there, you can grind it, do whatever you want with it. All right, so we got our front shoulder here. That right there, a big old chunk can come right off. All Greasy. First thing I do is a big center bone right there that runs down your shoulder. Right here and goes down and flattens out into the blade. I cut down one side of that. And I fillet it back. Right down to the shoulder blade. Once you get to the end of the blade right there, cut straight down either side of it. Go on down here, following the bone. There's the knee. Go around it. Go to the other side. That's that big armor. That's that big plate that you really want to stay away with from. Unless you're shooting a phoenix. <laughs> You can, you can feel where them bones are, where you can cut, can't cut. So I've got that all laid open. Alright, so you got her laid open wide there. You can't do nothing there hardly, there's a big knee joint. But you got her all away from the bone. Peel it. Take it. Peel it back. No, we need nothing here. There's just no, a very thin layer of meat. Oh, sorry. So you just cut that. What is that? Cut this off. Follow the edge. Follow the edge of the bone. Got a little bit left up there if you want. I'll probably take that and use that for coyote bait. There you go. This is down to the bone all the way down. Nothing but bone up in here. You don't need none of this. That's very thin layer. Can't even make a hurry to cut through it. Don't need it. There is quite a bit of meat right there. You can grind that or make it into a roast or whatever you want to do with it. 
I'll probably trim it up just a hair. Some of that big fat off of it. Coyote bait. It's one good thing about being a complete outdoorsman is one thing can lead you into another. You know, instead of discarding that meat, I'll use it to put fur in the freezer or wherever, you know, if I need to sell it or <coughs> apologize for the coughing. I had some kind of sickness here recently and it almost put me down for good. But anyway, that's a, that's processing your deer. Back strap, hind quarters, front shoulder. I don't do ribs. Here in Oklahoma, the deer, I don't know, they just don't get big enough to where rib meat's worth it, I think. Uh, I've heard deer ribs are good. I've never tried them. Maybe one of these days I will. But basically, your most of your meat's in your hind quarters, your back straps, your inside tenders, and your front shoulder. Maybe on the next one, I'll show you the inside tenders. Those have to come out re pretty much immediately. That's the most tender meat on the deer, and it will run very quick if you don't pull them out real quick. <coughs> but I thank you for joining me. For any more tips, how to's, go to www.ikesoutdoors.com, and uh, you know we, we'll help you in any way we can. Contact us. Give us your questions. We'll be glad to answer them. Uh, like I said, the the great thing about living a whole outdoor lifestyle is one thing leading to another. I, well, meat I process that I don't use can be used for trapping reasons, for fox, coyote, even coon, possum. You know, one thing leads to another. You're always using the resources that God give you to do something else with. So, thanks for tuning in. I like good time.